Welcome back to Brewmatures. Today we're reviewing Speculoos Cookie Butter Beer. All right, every beer has a story, and let's find out what this one's is. Um, so we have Speculoos Cookie Butter Beer, Imperial Golden Ale with toasted coconut, vanilla beans, and other natural flavors. Um, brewed by Hardywood Park Craft Brewery from Richmond, Virginia. And it looks like it was brewed specifically for Trader Joe's after their cookie butter spread, which I've never had. I don't shop at Trader Joe's. Um, but this beer was recommended to me by uh, two of my friends, Angel and Tori. Shout out to you guys. Thank you. Um, and so I thought I'd give it a review. I've seen uh, people talk about it on social media. And I uh, just wanted to see what all the hype was about. Uh, it wasn't very expensive. Um, so if you're interested as well, uh, I'll let you know today if it's worth picking up. All right, let's open this guy up. It is a 9.5% beer, which I was not expecting, if I'm being completely honest. So I'm really interested to see how this tastes. All right. All right, some decent carbonation in here. Um, golden color, a little murky from uh, the adjuncts they use in there, I assume. Let's go to the nose. All right, so nose reminds me of um, when we did the Four Sons uh, Peach Sour Pie series. Notes of like cinnamon and flaky uh, crust, um, kind of bready. A little bit of coconut in there. And I wonder if it's that milk sugar that gives it a little bit more of that like bready, flaky uh, notes on the nose. Let's see how it tastes. Oh boy, there's a lot going on there. I think, ooh, okay, I need another sip. But there's a lot going on there. The alcohol comes through for sure. There's an off-putting taste in there, which now I understand why people have told me some negative things on it as well as some positives. But there's a lot of flavor there. And I'm getting that cookie, cookie dough flavor in it. There's a little bit of that vanilla there at the end. Let me go back in. Yeah, that alcohol, it's kind of nasty. A little bit of vanilla bean, a little bit of coconut, but I'll be honest with you guys, <laughs> this doesn't taste that great. There's the 9.5% alcohol is really shining through in this. And maybe if this was a stout, the coffee and chocolate notes of a stout malt might have helped hide the alcohol better. Um, I mean, I've had similar ingredients in stouts and they make excellent beers. This is a Imperial Blonde Ale, Golden Ale. And I've never had that before, but the alcohol is coming way too much through in the front for me. Like if you're gonna have alcohol, at least hide it in the back. Um, I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah, no. For me, this is a no-go. <clears throat> but for you guys, I'm gonna sip on this a little while longer and come back for my final thoughts. After sipping on it a little longer, any flavors that I found redeeming in it have disappeared. The alcohol in the beginning really is running over this beer and ruining it for me. Um, when you find when you buy a craft beer, you expect it to be a step above, you know. A, a main major you know uh, brewery and it's not I'd rather have a, a PBR a Coors um, than this uh, it just isn't doing it for me and the redeeming quality in it is the nose you get the nice cinnamon flaky crust but it's not enough I want flavor in my beer and not alcohol flavor either you know it should be able to mask that alcohol a little bit to where it's not distracting if anything it would add flavor um, this beer, just like I said, not doing it for me. It's going to get a two on untapped, and it, the rest is going down the drain. That being said, you know, there's something for everyone out there. And perhaps this is for you. Trader Joe sells it. If you have one near you, I ask you to maybe try it out yourself. See what you think. Let us know in the comments down below what you, what you get from it. Do you like it? Do you not? You know, share this video with your friends. See what they think about it. Like this video because, hey, help us out. And until next time, we're the Brumagers, trying every beer from around the world. Nope, not going to touch that. See you next time.